It's Eddie Van Halen time. So here's the lick that we're learning today. <laughs> That's what's happening. We're learning an Eddie Van Halen lick. Now, actually, I taught this lick in a short a while back, and a lot of you guys were like, hey, I wish you would teach this again, but not make it so short. <laughs> so here it is. Here's that video lesson. Now, this is a very simple idea that Eddie implements in I'm the One, Feel Your Love Tonight. I mean, it's in the jump solo. It's all over the place. It's this idea of him moving this shape across the strings. Now, what he's doing is he's using what's called sequencing. He's adding a pattern to these certain notes and playing it across the fretboard. Which ties in nicely to the sponsor of today's video, me, and my new course, Essential Sequences, three note per string edition. If you wanna check that out, it's on sale this week for the launch week. It has tons of stuff like this. If you get anything out of this lesson, check out the course. It has lots and lots of these sequencing ideas that is just gonna open up the fretboard for you because it really helped me out when I was learning how to do this stuff. So anyways, into the lick. So here's the kind of the idea that we're, that we're working with here. Now you have to think about things in the way that Eddie did. Eddie didn't view things like, oh, he's, I'm gonna play this scale, I'm gonna do this. He, it was very pattern based is really what he's doing. So in the past, I taught you this idea. <laughs> where Eddie took a pattern and just moved it across the strings. This idea is very similar, but slightly more complex. So let's break down exactly what's happening here. I'm starting on seventh fret of the A string and I'm viewing this as kind of like, I would use it in the key of B. You know, that, that's what I'm thinking of this as being out of the key of B, this particular lick. You could move it in a lot of different areas just like Eddie. So we're gonna start seventh fret of our A string. And, and I'm leading with pull-offs. I think that's how Eddie's doing it. I'm gonna go seven, pull off to six, hammer on seven, hammer on nine. Now you're gonna go down to the D string and you're gonna go six, seven, nine, all hammered on. Okay, so you have... And it's real quick, it's, like, it's, it's not like drawn out. Of... Now, the next thing that you have to add to it is a very heavy palm. You notice when Eddie does this stuff, outside of the jump solo, he typically adds palm muting on the lower strings. And as the strings get higher, he puts less and less palm mute on there. It's just a very dynamic way of playing something like this. Okay. But unlike in the past, we're not going to those higher strings. We're going to stay right here. And we're gonna do this. And I'm just kind of using all the same frets, but I'm repeating another sequence. So we have multiple sequences happening here. Okay, I'm gonna go six, hammer on to seven on the G. Then I'm gonna go to nine on the D. Then I go back to six on the G. And then I'm gonna go seven to nine on the D. Now I'm picking that seven nine on the D string. So pick, hammer, pick, 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 pick. The more pick notes you add, the more aggressive the lick will sound. So if you don't like it with all those hammer-ons and pull-offs in there and you want it to be more in your face, pick more of the note. You know, it's gonna make it more aggressive. Okay, so I do that three times in a row. I shouldn't say I do it, it's an Eddie lick. He does it. And now we turn this lick into a descending sequence. We're gonna go like this. So we're going like this. We're gonna go six hammer on seven. Then you're gonna go to nine on the D. Then you're gonna go back to six on the G. Then you're gonna go seven, nine on the D. Now, like I said, it, it's kind of tricky here because of the way Eddie does things. This this would work over B, but you'll notice he, he resolves this lick to an E, so it can work over E. It's When you're playing very shape-based, it's it's kind of, it's a wild west. You know, There's a lot you can do with it in different keys, and also B and E are very similar. So we have, okay, we've got that. Now, we think of that pattern that we just did and move everything up a string. So, I'm 
just gonna go six, seven on the D, which is a hammer on. Then I go to nine on the A, back to six. And then I'm gonna go seven, nine on the A string. And then I go back to seven. And kind of the trademark Eddie thing is, is like he doesn't leave anything alone for too long. You know, he's always gonna mix it up. So we have. And he adds that big bend on there, that seventh fret, bending up to nine. He lets it fall back down. So you have. He won't just take the same shape and just play the same thing forever. He's always tweaking it and twisting it a little bit. So it's a really cool thing with Eddie. Again, that descending. Um, work on how much palm muting you want. I, I, I do pretty heavy palm muting on those. You know, he'll, he'll do the same thing when he's on the higher strings too. So there you guys go. I hope you dig another one of my favorite Eddie licks. It's so fun to play his stuff. He, he's just, I mean, he was the man. He's my favorite guitarist ever. So if you would check out the new guitar course, it's linked down below. Uh, by the time you're seeing this, it should be in the middle of the week. So you've got a few days left to get it. And we have that live clinic that we're gonna do that's free for everyone on Sunday. So see you all later and thank you all so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Bye guys. Woo! So into bluesy, Eddie Van Halen style. Oh, there it is. Bye, guys.